Welcome back to Kids WB Sundays here on Go. Cross and I are very excited because we are about to have a very special guest on the show. Now, this wonderful lady is one of Australia's highest selling children's authors. She's the lady behind the amazing Alice Miranda series. Let's get her out here to tell us all about the latest book. It's Jacqueline Harvey. Hello, Hi. Hi. Come on down. Hi. Welcome to the show. Welcome Thank to Kids you. WB. We are so excited to have you here. And I also noticed that neat little setup over there. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be getting stuck into that a little bit later. Well, but can it took you me tell all us? While. I was baking all morning just to get that set up <laughs> for you. I'm very impressed. That's great. Right. Can you tell us, and for the kids at home who haven't read any of the books, a little bit about the Alice Miranda series? Okay, well, Alice Miranda is a little girl who goes to boarding school mm -hmm. and she is a very good uh, problem solver. She's a very good friend. Uh, she's, she's probably one of the most positive characters that you're ever going to meet. And so during the course of all her adventures, she tends to come across some fairly villainous characters and she's got to try and, uh, you know, work out what's going on and, and solve, you know, not just crimes, but often just why is someone behaving the way that they yeah. are. Why is it so? Yeah, yes. why is it so? She does have a unique way of looking at the world and you are Right, she's very, very good at problem solving. So I've got a problem, and I'm wondering if you, oh. through the eyes of Alice Miranda, might be able to help me solve it. Yes, let's How solve the problem. do I make Shane Crawford less annoying? I, well, I, I sort of get the fact that he might be a little bit sort of um, busy. Bit is he a bit busy? Is a he a bit, busy? a bit busy? A bit a sort of like an energetic? Dog's yes. breakfast you know, all I, over the place sometimes. I would suggest that maybe you should get him involved in some sort of a sport. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> no, he he I, might be good at, well, I, I can't, maybe he'd be good at AFL. Maybe. maybe. Nah, no, he's too short for that. <laughs> no, I do, I do get a little bit excited and I like working with Lauren and and we we are like two peas in a pod. We've, we've got a really good relationship where we, we're sort of like yin and yang or like um, Ernie and Bert. Uh, so I sort of, yeah, I get a bit energised when I'm yeah. around her. That's, yeah. that's the problem. So yeah, maybe just give him more to do. Okay, I'll give him more to give do. Me. Maybe you could ask the next question. Um, I would like to ask about the other books as well because tell us about um, the other books because you've done so many. I have. I've Rose. done quite a lot of uh, Clementine Rose books as well. Yeah. Clementine Rose, she lives a really interesting life. She lives in a hotel. So that in Living itself... Living the dream, uh, Clementine she, Rose. <laughs> well, except that their hotel, it's kind of big and ramshackle and, you know, not in the best of conditions. So, does uh, she have a dog? She doesn't have a dog, but she does have a pet teacup pig. And her pig's name is she Lavender. She is seriously living the dream. She I is. want that life. She is. Live in a hotel, have a little pet pig. Oh, she has the meanest aunt in the world, though. I am. She has aunt, aunt Violet. Aunt. Yeah, she's no, your aunts are very good. Very yes, good. My aunts. You're I've only got one. <laughs> Thanks for taking so much interest in my family tree. Hey, back to Alice Miranda. This book is the 11th book in yes. the series and it's based at the palace. What kind of things does she get up to at the palace? Okay, well she gets invited to the palace by uh, a lady called Auntie G who happens to be the Queen, Queen Georgina, who is Alice Miranda's mother's godmother. Right. And so uh, they go off to the palace for the Queen's Jubilee celebrations and they're going through a big party but unbeknownst to Alice Miranda there's a kidnapping plot. Um, uh, happening in the background mm -hmm. and so the the equivalent of you know the, the spy organization in in the story uh, is you know I couldn't take off the CIA or the FBI or anything like that so I have my own spy organization it's called Splod. Oh it's the Secret Protection League of Defense. Oh. And well, so that's as good a name as I've ever heard. <laughs> so they're all in there trying to work out what's going on. Alice Miranda is in quite a bit of danger so she gets to stay at the uh -huh. palace with her friends. And uh, you know, there's a whole lot of interesting things unfold. But Alice Miranda's not just her name. She's got a much more complex name she than that, does. doesn't she? Yeah, her full name is Alice Miranda Hyten Smith Kennington Jones. And why is her name so long? Well, her mother's name is Cecilia Hyten Smith. Her father is Hugh Kennington Jones. They really didn't know what to call her, so they just thought they would give her the whole lot. Of everything. Sort of like a hamburger with a lot. It, just she is. throw it all in. Definitely. Together. Now, so, what you're would so our creative. Names be? Oh. Just uh, before you get to your next I know I'm meant to be giving you more to do and I keep cutting you off. Okay, well, we have this really cool thing on the website, on my website, where you can go in and generate your own Alice Miranda name and so... JacquelineHarvey.com.au So, Shane, your Alice Miranda name would be Shane Earl Chamberlain Crawford Vice. Ooh. Is that quite posh enough for you? That, uh, that's pretty Shane good. Shane Earl good. Chamberlain, pain Crawford. in the neck, Crawford <laughs> Vice. Thank I you like it. And Lauren, yours would be Lauren Ronnie Bryony. Petty Phillips Smythe. Petit Phillips. <laughs> well, I've always fancied myself as being a little bit French. The Petit Phillips. I'm happy with that. 
Excellent. Uh, some, yeah, some very interesting and creative uh, things that you've got in all your books. So how, your mind must be ticking along all the time. Yes, yes. It never, never, stops. never really stops. And do you have like a little notepad? This is for all the boys and girls yep. out there who want to write a book. Do you have a little notepad where you just go, oh, that's a good idea, and you just write that down I and do. tuck I, it away? I have uh, notepads beside my bed. I have one in my handbag. I have one in the car. You never know and when a great yeah, idea exactly. is going to pop you up, You never right? know. And sometimes I dream really good ideas, and so I'll wake up in the middle of the night write and write it down. You have to write them down in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will never remember what happens. Definitely. All the time. Hey, um, Jacqueline, now since the book is based in a palace, We've got a bit of a high tea set up over there. We're wondering if he'll stick around and help Shane improve his table manners. Because I think I've got him covered. But him but on the other hand. You do <laughs> eat with your mouth open. Ooh. And that is something Sometimes we need to work on. Sometimes I talk with my mouth full, but it's okay. only but when it's that really is a necessary. Talent. That is very much a talent. And see this wonderful book. You can actually win some of these. We've got five that you can win. So you need to go to the website kidswb.com.au. .au, that would be, and get yourself involved in the competition yeah. if you would like this wonderful book. And for more information on the books, or Jacqueline, you can head to jacquelineharvey.com.au. You can find out what your Alice Miranda name will be. Will you stick around and teach Absolutely. us some table manners? Absolutely, I would love to. Or we could teach you a few. Yeah, maybe you can. <laughs> and while you're here, would you like to watch Teen Titans with us? I would love to. Great news. Teen Titans coming up. Sounds after great. the break. More tea, pickle. <laughs>